Okay, we're going to do graphing equations here. Y equals one-third X minus five. So the Y and the X are both in the equation. So you make a wall on the Y side. You want Y by itself. So you're going to go M, B, because M is in front of the X and then the B. Put a dot. The M is a one multiplied by X. There has to be a Y and an X to use this. So you're going to use slope, Y intercept. Slope is M, Y intercepts B. So one-third is my slope. Negative five is the y-intercept. So on the y, this is positive for y, this is negative for y. We're going to negative five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then to generate my rest of the points, I'd use my slope. So one-third. So it'd be forward three, up one, rise over run. Okay. You can go up one, forward three, or forward three, then up one. It doesn't matter. Okay. But that is your equation. That's a graph of the equation. It shows all points that make y. It shows all y, x, y points that make the equation equal. Okay, don't write this, but I'm going to show you what a line does. See, that's a point on the line. Okay. So, that point there, you're at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. x is negative 3. And then that point, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. If you take 1 third times negative 3 and add negative 5, you're going to get negative 6. And that, all the rest of the points do the same thing. Okay. Alright, next one. 2x minus 3y equals 12. Now this ain't going to be quite so simple. Your y is not by itself, so we can't identify the m and the b. So I put a plus negative, I dot circle. I do not want that as a negative, so I make it positive, but then the 2 and the 12 have to become the opposite. Okay. Then I add 2x, I create my own x term over there, it was 0, then I add 2x there. Now I line up my equals, and I've got 3 times y. You need to do your x first, 0 plus 2 is 2, and then plus negative 12. Then we divide everything by 3. Okay? Everything. 2 divided by 3 is a decimal, so we keep that as a fraction because that's your m. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. That's your b. You can have a decimal for the b, not the m. I don't think I did any b's that ended up as decimals. So slope y-intercept. So the slope is two-thirds and the y-intercept negative four. So y is positive here, it's negative here. So I have to go to negative four. One, two, three, four. And two over three, forward three, up two. It's rise over run. So rise two, run three, or run three, rise two, it doesn't matter. Okay. And there's your graph. Okay. Arrows on both ends because it is continuous. <clears throat> okay, y equals 2. You're going to put a parenthesis because x is not here. Okay, So if x ain't there, you're making three coordinates. What's the letter that is there? It's y. So 2, 2, 2. x would be whatever. 1, 2, 3. So here's x, here's y. Positive negative, positive, negative. So x is 1, y is 2, so I go to positive 1, then positive 1, positive 2. x is 2, y is 2, so positive 2, positive 2. x is 3, y is 2, so I go to positive 3 on x. Remember, all these are x, y's, all of them. Okay. Okay, and the line goes straight across. Okay, next one, 3x minus 6y equals negative 24. So x and y are both here, but we want the y by itself. It's not, okay? Again, it's a negative, so I go positive, and then 3 goes negative, and 24 switches to positive. You just switch the signs on everything. So I add 3, and I can do that in an equation, as long as you switch it on everything to opposite. So make a 0x and add 3x there. So line up your equals, you got 6 times y. Then I write x down, 0 plus 3 is 3. 
and plus 24. Then I divide everything by 6. Okay, y equals 3 divided by 6 is a decimal, so keep that as 3 over 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So M and B now. So slope y-intercept. So the slope is 3 over 6 and the y-intercept is plus 4. Now we're going to talk about our slope here in a second. I'm going to do something with the slope I haven't been doing. Okay. You have a multiplication chart. You're going to reduce the slope to lowest terms. It's not hard if you have a multiplication chart. So positive 4 is a y. 1, 2, 3, 4. And from that point I want to reduce this, okay, because these are both in the third row, so reduce your slope by 3, so it would be 1 over 2. So I'd actually go forward 2, up 1, or up 1, forward 2, it doesn't matter, okay, so that is the correct equation of the y. See on the first one, 1 over 3 is just in the first row, 2 over 3 is in the first row, 3 over 6 is in more than just the first row. Okay, 4x minus 2y equals 16. So x and y are both here. We got x, we got y. So let's get the y by itself. Okay, again, you have that problem where it's negative. Okay, so negative, positive, negative. So add your 4x, make a 0x, and add 4x. Now line up your equals, you have 2 times y. You've got to do your x first. 0 plus 4 is 4, and then plus negative 16. Then you're going to divide all three of these by 2, so that the y can be by itself. Now 4 divided by 2 is not a decimal, so you're going to put 2 down, 2x. And then negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. So we have our M, we have our B. Okay, now the slope's 2. To make it a fraction, you simply put a 1 under it. And then negative 8 is the y-intercept. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Unfortunately... I go forward 1, but I go up 2, because there ain't going to be no room to go down 2. So forward 1, up 2, forward 1, up 2, or up 2, forward 1, it doesn't matter. Okay. There's my line. Okay, next one. Y equals 5X minus 3. You got X, you got Y we got to make sure the y is by itself. It already is, so I, I'm ready for MB right away. Make a wall on the y side, and if the y is over there by itself, you're ready to roll. Negative 3 is a y-intercept. So y, negative 1, 2, 3. Slope is 5, so 5 over 1. So you're going to go forward 1, up 5. Forward one one. That point shouldn't be there. Okay, and the line's pretty steep because five as five hole as a slope is pretty steep. You got to put the one under it. Okay, you can't because otherwise one of my people do is they're just going to go up five and make a point. No, it's five over one. Okay, x equals negative three. Okay, y is not here. So we know what to do there. That's three points. Okay, so what letter is there? So we know we're going to put the same thing in all the X's. And then Y not being there means I can do one, two, three, anything. So on X, this is negative. On X, this is positive. On Y, this is positive. On Y, this is negative. It's all you got to put. So negative 3 on X would be this way. 1, 2, 3, and up 1. Negative 3, 2, 3, up 2. Negative 3, 3. Negative 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now the reason why that works is because every point here is at the negative 3 on the X. Okay. 
doesn't matter what the point is, it's at negative 3. Okay, y equals 4x minus 3. X and Y are both here. There's Y, there's X. Is Y by itself? Yes, it is. So M and B. So the slope's 4. Put a 1 under it. Okay. The negative 3 is the Y intercept. So negative 1, 2, 3. You're going on the Y. It's called the Y intercept for a reason. Okay, not the X. So forward one, up four. Or you can go up four, forward one. It doesn't matter. By the way, this way is forward. <clears throat> there we have it. Next one, we've got y equals negative 4x minus 1. So y and x are both here. Okay, so you know your M, you know your B. Okay, so we have our slope and our Y intercept. The slope is negative 4. Remember, the slope is M, the Y intercept's B. You need a 1 under it, and then if it doesn't have a number in front of it, you just put a 1 in the denominator, and then negative 1's your Y intercept. Okay, so we're going negative 1, that'd be right here. That's where it crosses the Y axis. Because you, if you take 4 times 0 plus 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. That's why that always is. Okay, so I go forward 1, down 4. This time it's falling every time because you have a negative multiplier. So every time I add 1 to the x, well, that's another negative 4 that you have to add. On. Okay, there's a graph. Okay, next one, 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. Okay, x and y are both in the equation, so I make a wall on the y side, but the y is not by itself, so I dot it, circle it, get that positive 3x to 0. Now I need an x over here, so I make my own 0x, because you have no x's over there, that's why it's 0. 4 times y. Now I write x down, 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and then plus negative 12. Then the times, you just divide by 4, but then you have to divide both the others by 4, not just one of them. Okay, that's a decimal, so I keep it negative 3 over 4 with x. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So now you have the y by itself with m and b. So slope, y int. So slope, negative 3, 4. So I, don't, I already have a fraction, or I already have a ratio. And then negative 3 is a y-intercept. Remember, that's m, that's b. So on the y, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Then you go forward, forward, down 3. And you can't do it again. Okay. And by the way, you're like, well, why didn't you go on your multiplication table? Because they're just in the first row. So dividing them by 1 is kind of silly. Okay, next one. Y equals 1 third X minus 4. So Y and X are both within the equation. We have X, we have Y. The y needs to be by itself, so I can apply the slope-intercept method, okay? And I can do that right off the bat, because the y was by itself originally. So the slope's one-third, y-intercept's negative four. So I plot the y-intercept first. Remember, this is m, this is b. So here's positive, here's negative. So I go down one, two, three, four. Then from there I go forward 3, up 1. You never notice I'm never moving backwards. Yeah, I'm always moving forward. I've not moved backwards in a slow problem in 10 years. Okay. 
next one, x equals negative 3. Okay, we just have x, y is not here. So if one of the variables is not even there, you go three coordinates. Okay, which variable is there? It's x. So x is negative 3 in every coordinate. So if y is not here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3 for that. You can go 4, 5, 6. I usually just do 1, 2, 3. So on x, this is positive. This is negative. On y, positive, negative. So negative 3, 1. So I go to negative 3 on x, up 1 on y. Negative 3, 2. I go negative 3 on x, up 2 on y. And negative 3, 3. Okay, and that's a good line. Because everywhere on it, you're at negative 3 on x. What a constant does. Okay, y equals negative 5x plus 2. So x is here, so is y. So we want to apply the slope-intercept method. If y is by itself, you can do it right away. You don't have to re rewrite the equation and get y by itself. Slope's m, y intercept's b. Negative 5, you need to put a 1 under the negative 5. You don't just put negative 5. So plus 2. Slope has to be a ratio form. So on y, positive 1, 2. And from that first point, I go forward one, down five. There was on both ends. Okay, okay negative four x plus 6y equals negative 12. So x and y are both in this equation. Make a wall on the y side. The y has got to be by itself. Okay. Dot it, circle it. Now, you're not going to change the signs because you have the positive. That's what you want. There's no sign change in. Okay. Don't go positive. I want that to be a positive. It already is. Okay. So now I get rid of the 4x. So I make a 0x, so there's an x over there, and add it, so 6 times y. Okay, so that's going to give us, with x, we're going to have 4, and then plus the negative 12, and divide everything by 6. Okay, if you take your calculator, divide 4 by 6, guess what, it's a decimal. So I keep it 4 over 6x for now. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. So now we have our M and B. Slope is M, Y intercepts B, so we have 4 over 6 and negative 2. Now I want that, you need to look that up on the table because that can be reduced. Those are both in row 2, so we divide by 2 and it's actually 2 thirds. Okay. 4 6 and 2 thirds are equivalent fractions. So on the Y you got positive negative. So you go to negative 2, and I go forward 3, up 2. Now some of you are like, well why can't you just do 4, 6? I guess you could, because you see if you went forward 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, you'd have the same line. That's why those are equivalent. Okay, got two more. Y equals two-thirds X minus one. So X and Y are both here. So we have M and B. Because the Y is by itself, I can go right into my M and B. So two-thirds. And then negative one. Okay, the Y intercept, you go down one. Because remember, negative positive. So we go forward 3, up 2. My line. Okay. okay, last problem. Y equals 2. X ain't here, son. X not here. 
Let's put one, two, three for that. Let's make three coordinates. What letter is there? It's Y. It's always two. X not here means it can be one, two, three for X. So X, Y. Okay. Remember, this is positive. This is negative. This is positive. This is negative. So positive one, two. Positive one, one, two. Positive two, positive two. Positive two, positive two. Three, two. So positive three, positive two. Everywhere on that, you're at two on Y. Okay. 